Hi. My name is Sandish. I don't and this is my friend Nathan. Know. One day Nathan hit me up and he was like, Yo, you wanna make a go-kart? I thought about it for a good four seconds. And of course I said yes. So we got started. We went back and forth. But after some precise and rigorous planning, we both agreed on our final design. So all that was left to do was build it. So first we cut out the frame and then welded it together with this massive stick welder. We then cut out some aluminum and got a couple friends to help us mount it onto the bottom of the frame. Now when I said this took a while, this took a while. Because we had to drill both through the aluminum and the steel, all while using wood screws as a mounting point. This left us with two separate sections of the frame with a little bit of suspension to connect them both. We asked the help of another friend to help us fabricate these absolutely beautiful pivot pieces. We installed that along with the chair. We quickly mounted the motor, rear axle, and brake disc along with the front steering system. With all four wheels on the ground, I had to give it the honorary squish test and had to make sure that the suspension wouldn't bend too much. It passed. Then we hit it with a quick paint job. designed it and got to welding. And this time around, we actually measured. All that was left to do was to mount it on the pre-existing frame. And we had to keep in mind the electronics that were already there so that we don't damage it anyway. All right, so we're gonna do a quick explanation of the cart. As you can see, it's made of two pieces, all right? The bottom is made of two inch box steel while the top is made of only one inch box steel. And to connect the two bodies of oh. The front and the back, we have these center uh, stacks. Listen, uh, one has four going up that way, this side has four going out that way. And they're connected by a big half inch bolt that allows it to move up and down. So the cart is broken into two segments, but it's connected with this big red spring that's known as the suspension. And while it looks it looks pretty small, honestly. It works pretty well. As you can see here, and a little test, it jumps back and forth and it makes a suspension in the back, not necessarily in the front, but you know what, that's fine. Okay, so here we have our steering, okay? So this is connected to this big block that we welded together. Essentially, when you turn this, this turns this rod that goes to the rack and pinions, all right? So when you turn this, it's gonna move that rack and pinion one way, moving the tie rods right on the end, pushing the spindles, this is how it caused the car to go in one direction, and same works the other way. You know, it's a little stiff, but it works. And with the hydraulic system, we have a tube that's filled with specialized brake fluid, and we had to bleed it out many, many times. We had to get all the air out to make sure that the pressure would activate um, to a point where we could brake well enough so that we could ride it. And Basically, it's, it's sort of the same concept where instead of pulling the wire, we're applying pressure inside the tube, and that pressure pushes on the pads here to stop the disc, and it actually works a lot better than what we had before. So our parking brake is a manual sort of parking brake, and it just pulls a wire, and that wire clamps down the caliper, 
it's attached to the same caliper and it just clamps it down with a locking mechanism in here and it keeps that clamp until the locking mechanism gets released. All right, so this is our power system. Essentially, this whole thing runs off of one big 72 volt lithium ion battery that is in this casing. If you wanna get a little bit of a close up here, you can see, oh, it's right there. We keep it under some foam so that when it's jumping up and down, the battery doesn't hurt. Then essentially this battery goes up on top of the battery box to this speed controller. What the speed controller does is that that takes in all the motor inputs from the pedals, decides what throttle it's at, and then changes the power to go to this BLDC motor. BLDC means it has three wires, three phases, and it moves this tire, which essentially moves the wheel. And here we have our prototype control center with an ignition key on and off, forward, reverse, and first, second, third gear. It's in Chinese, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. We talked about the explanation, enough of that, all right? We, we got our test dummy here, that's Nathan. You know, we only have the highest quality setup, Kevin, if you wouldn't mind coming in close to the camera. We've got our 720p, you know, GoPro Hero 9, of course. Yeah, 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 it records at up to 15 frames per second. And believe it or not, we actually do have our actual GoPro strapped onto our buddy here with a, a lot of tape. He's not gonna be able to get his helmet off. But you know what? We do it for you. We do it for the views. We do it for the fans. So let's get started. <laughs> Nathan, how are you feeling? Scared. Yeah. Does it bother you? You can't take off your helmet? A little bit. Okay. Well, we got a speedometer there. You know, you look pretty safe. This looks pretty safe, right? We're gonna go for a max test run. So we're gonna see how fast we're able to go. All right. All right, so we're in the car now. <laughs> we're following <laughs> brave Nathan. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, go ahead. Look at that engineer. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the speed test now. We're here at the place. Kevin, turn around. Look at that it's a beautiful strip, it's a long strip. Speed limit's 25. Probably not gonna be able to go over it, but we'll see, there is a little speedometer there. Uh, don't worry, we're being safe. We have a car out there making sure nobody else is on the road. And, you know, it's Sunday in the middle of the noon. Nobody's out. It's cold. It's cold too. <laughs> it's also pretty cold. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Okay, go on. Get the parking brake on. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. Can I come up here? Alright, ready? So, what Nathan's gonna do is he's gonna go as fast as he can on the straightaway. We're not gonna be able to fall on the Yeah, I know, but it's probably better. Just go like this. Alright, we're gonna make sure that there's no cars coming the other way. There's one coming. So, let's give it a minute. Yep. Alright, we're good? Yep. Alright, Nathan. Video's on. We're ready. Three. Two, one. Oh my god. This is an e Okay. Three, two, one, go. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's definitely slow acceleration at that top speed. <laughs> Yeah, 
beat me. This is not slowing down. All right, slow down. Don't. Oh my God. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, the, the turning is tighter now. It didn't go as fast as last time. It only went 30. Oh, okay. max 30. But it was so was like... Okay, you might not think so. We didn't really go that fast. We only went 30 miles an hour. You might be thinking, wow, that's, that's pretty, pretty lame. But, 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 technically we want to get this registered as an SMV, slow moving vehicle, which means it's not supposed to go over 25 miles an hour anyway. The whole goal of this project is to make it look like a cyber cart, make it look super cool, and then on the inside it's gonna have a ton of electronics, and essentially like you're sitting in a little Batmobile, you know what I mean? So really it's gonna be on the interior, so just wait. And we've been working on this for about um, a little over two years now, and this is what we have done. And so this is the first video out of four. And as we keep on working on the cart, adding more, and we're gonna keep making videos, and they should be coming out in the next coming months. Yeah. So this took two years, but we we're pretty pretty lazy. So remember, every month for the next three months, this is part one of four. Next video is gonna be about the body. We got some sheet metal over here. Essentially, we're covering the whole thing in sheet metal, and it's gonna look pretty sick. And then it's electronics and programming. <coughs> First day of the next three months, come back and watch. With that being said, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you like us. Please. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. All right, thank you, bye-bye.